uh, as usual, important disclaimer before you watch this video. The title is 13 Reasons Why You Should Not Marry an Indian Man. Okay, now before you, you know, jump the gun and say, oh, racism, oh, racist and all that. Uh, I'm an Indian passport holder. Okay, just, just so that you know. Okay, so I can talk about Indians. Been with Indians my whole life. So I know Indians, the Indian culture and all that. Okay, uh, that is one. The second thing is, when you see the video, I will be saying the 11 reasons, okay? Actually, what had happened was, after I made the video, I realized, oh, there were two important points which I forgot to add. So that also, I will be inserting uh, into the video. So overall, what I want to tell you is, number one, if you're sensitive, if you're, you know, get offended easily, don't watch my video. Second thing is, if you use a racism trump card or whatever, I'm a Indian passport holder. I can talk about Indians. And number three is uh, the title is 13 reasons why you should not marry an Indian man. Uh, initially in my video, which I already shot, I would be saying 11 reasons, but it's actually 13. I have put the bonus last two at the end. Having said that, watch the video, put your comments down below. Let me know where you agree, disagree. Love to hear from you. This is me signing off. Enjoy. All right, uh, I got this uh, nice little message from a lady named Gayatri on, you know, under my YouTube video, 13 reasons not to marry an Indian girl. And so she put a <laughs> nice one, why don't you give the reasons not to marry an Indian man? I thought that was a very apt topic because uh, I actually wanted to make the... I, I, Sincerely wanted to make a video on that, but it just crossed my mind. And uh, I think uh, in between two or three times, I had the inspiration to do it. One was when a Thai lady here, um, she had a very beautiful friend. I met the friend, really beautiful girl. And uh, she told me that she's in love with an Indian guy. He's a good man and she wants to marry him. And uh, she wanted to show me because, you know, she found out I'm also from India. She's like, ah, he's a good man and just like you, good man. So first and foremost, I told her, see, listen, he's not like me. He's nothing like me. Okay. And I don't mean it in a bad way or good way. Okay. The reason being is Indian men don't look like me. They don't act like me. I hardly stayed in India. So I'm very different from most other men, but you can show me. So she showed me, I think he was from Hyderabad or UP, not too sure. But the second I saw his photographs and on Facebook, I said, you'll regret it. Huh? Don't go, just don't. She was very upset that I told her no, but you know how emotions and feelings are. She did what she had to. I think she's gone. Then a friend closed down the shop. I never heard from her since, but I can assure you, they would a hundred percent break up. Now, why am I saying this? And uh, how do I evaluate Indian men? In fact, when, whenever anyone asks me, should I, shouldn't I? These are the drawbacks I normally say. Now, that doesn't mean that every uh, girl or non-Indian who marries an Indian man will experience the same. Remember, I'm giving you the the baseline common characteristics, like for example, when you say uh, someone who is a Muslim, there are certain characteristics that they have. They pray to Allah, they believe in Muhammad, they pray five times a day, they go to a mosque, uh, family values are there, they don't accept homosexuals in their family, you know. Uh, for them, Allah and Muhammad is more important than uh, anything else. In the same way, Christian families, Christian families, uh, you know, 
uh, they go to the church, then obviously celebrate Christmas, New, you know, New Year, Easter. There's a little bit of wine. Most of them love to party and celebrate, you know. Then obviously there are Orthodox Christians, Protestants, Catholics. So you get the rift. Hindu family, you know, very traditional. They follow a lot of the, you know, Indian values. Indian values means family together, simplicity. Unless, of course, you have been influenced by the West. Anyway, so I'm going to give you a couple of common characteristics that Indian men have. Uh, but these are very common with majority. However, obviously, when they travel and see the world and, uh, you know, with the influence of the West, they change. But I can assure you, these 11 points that I've stated here are very common. Okay? Feel free to comment which one is wrong, which one is right. Uh, and yes, tell me where you think, oh no, I totally disagree with this or I 100% agree. Having said that, let's start. Okay, uh, why you shouldn't marry an Indian man? <laughs> oh, why you shouldn't marry? The first one, the first big one is, Indian, if you're marrying an Indian man, you're not just marrying the man. You're marrying the family, you're marrying the culture, you're marrying the tradition. Because unlike Westerners who may stay independent from their mother and father and live their own life and experience independence and create their own personality, lifestyle, whatever, Indian men, the majority of them, stay with their family. They live as a joint family. So obviously, there's a strong influence. That is why in Indian families, when they marry, it's not the guy is marrying the girl or the girl is marrying the guy. It's both the families are marrying, literally marrying each other. That is why if you see most of the wedding ceremonies, the groom's family, the bride's family is actively involved in almost everything, not just the wedding function. Then obviously, they go to their house, they come to their house and... You know, and that is why during the reception, when they are, they have this handing over the daughter, especially in Catholic families or Christian families, in the reception, you know, after the wedding, they take the microphone and say, "It's you're not just uh, we are not just marrying uh, your daughter is like our daughter from today. Your family is our family. We are all united together. You know, all that stuff. So, the uh, if and what does that mean when you're marrying the family? You, <laughs> you not only have to keep the husband happy, you have to keep the husband's mother happy, you have to keep the husband's father happy, you have to keep the husband's family happy. And, uh, you know, brother, sister, everyone else. Okay. So that, that is the first major thing. And unless, of course, they are very broad-minded, you'll have to blend into their culture. If they are all Hindus and they pray to Hindu gods, you can't just start praying to your Christian God or Muslim God or whatever. You have to blend in. Same thing if you marry a Muslim family. If everyone's wearing abaya, burqa, whatever, you can't dress up like, you know, openly and do whatever hell you want. Even Christian families for that matter. If everyone's praying with a crucifix and Jesus, you can't put a plop in a, a Hindu God, Ganpati or Shiva. You'll never see that because each of the religions are thought that our religion is true, other religions are false. So the first one, the biggest one is, you're not getting married to the guy, you're getting married to the whole family. And unlike the girl's family, you have to surrender yourself. You have to comply with their demands. And that can be a really difficult and painful process. Remember, before the wedding, maybe they'll be very sweet and nice. After the wedding, they will show you their real side. That is, after the honeymoon phase is where the challenges begin. The first, this first point itself is a massive one. The second reason why you shouldn't marry an Indian man is for the simple reason the Indian mentality is ingrained in Indians very strongly. Like you have Pakistanis with Pakistani, uh, you know, the culture, family and, you know, American depends on which place in America. Uh, like, for example, the uh, blacks, they have their own lifestyle. 
names that they give, music that they listen to, whites, depending on which part of uh, US they are from, even Arabs for that matter, if he's a Kuwaiti, Saudi, uh, Emirati. Okay. So in the same way for Indians, no? they have the Indian mentality. Now, this is a massive, a huge, vast, uh, uh, you know, area. Mentality can be anything from eating with the hands uh, and uh, licking, <laughs> which I also do sometimes. Or it can be mentality can be even being stingy, asking last price, last price, discount, discount. Or mentality can even be some of them don't have grooming habits. Or mentality can even be how they treat uh, women in their house versus how they treat outsiders versus or how they look at women in their house, but how they look at women outside. So mentality covers the whole gamut of all this. And I'll tell you, the mentality is the most challenging part to figure out because you can't figure it out easy. See, remember this, when a guy wants a girl, he'll be very sweet, very nice, romantic talk. Uh, they call uh, in Thailand, they say, sweet mouth. Okay, like you just give all the sweet stuff that you want to hear. But remember, once you enjoy the sweetness, you eat the dish, you're not going to sweet. That's why when a man gets what he wants, after he gets what he wants and his stomach is full, he'll show you his true colors. He'll behave in the way he normally behaves with people. That is why I always tell people, you want to know how a person truly is, go check out how his friends behave or how they behave with their friends, even children. Check how their group of friends, how do they behave, what do they say, what do they like. Those habits tend to carry on. Okay, so Indian mentality and I think one of the biggest problems with the Indian mentality is just like most other cultures, they would like to believe they are right, they are superior, they are smart, they are intelligent, they know everything. And that is why today when India has suddenly the flood of cheap smart devices, phones and super cheap internet and free apps, what do you see? So many Indians, even as young as 20 years, they will lecture you on stock market, life, marriage, politics, uh, America, Elon Musk, living on... They know everything. That itself, that, that behavior, whatever you call it, ignorance, arrogance, stupidity, is part ingrained in the Indian mentality. And uh, if you want to know what is the mentality, find out which part of India this person is coming from, which religion this person is from, have a look at their family members, and you will immediately understand what is their mentality like. Even for example, their attitude towards exercise or other women, okay? The third one, <laughs> this is one thing Indians are very famous for, and uh, even Russell Peters has made jokes on it. The Indian's stinginess, Indians are uber stingy, uh, they love to bargain, they love to, how much this? Okay, 10, how much that? 9, how much that one? 8, okay, then you finally get fed up and say, okay, fine, I'll give it to you for 8, just take it. No, no, but if I buy 2, last price, then if I buy 3, last price, last, last, last price, finally he brings it down to the cost price. Yeah, but, you know, what is the final, final discount, you know, so... That is why the joke in Thailand is, when an Indian comes, an Indian group, seven people will order one Coca-Cola and they'll drink that cola from their straws. One, they will all share. In a way, in a way, to be honest, it's good that they are not wasting money on alcohol, but overall, it's very bad for their image. And it shows how stingy they are. In fact, even if they go to a, a stripper, dance bra or this thing, they'll not even, the girl is dancing and showing you a body and everything else entertaining you, they will not even throw money, they will not even give money. Uh, even even when they go to a prostitute, they will bargain with her and then they say, okay, three of my friends, same price. <laughs> so, uh, it's terrible, it's terrible. It has become a, it has become a joke to the point where if the minute you say you're an Indian, people just are disgusted, they look down on you. Now, that doesn't mean people from other religions or places, they don't do that, cultures or whatever, countries. 
but Indians are very famous. One is Chinese, one is Indians. Our Indians are hardcore, hardcore, stingy to the point. Even if they can afford it, let's say for example, they can afford a book, okay, they can afford a software, they will still prefer to use a pirated this thing or free. I have people in my some of my WhatsApp groups. The guy is he is his portfolio is. I mean, he might be earning three times more than me. Uh, his family. He he still wants a free download, a free PDF. <laughs> he doesn't want to pay for the book. I don't understand. Uh, and that is why you'll see so many guys. They will spend on expensive shoes, the latest iPhone, and all that. But when it comes to necessary, how much last? <laughs> they, uh, I think the most famous example I've given is, you'll see them buy an iPhone at premium, but then they'll go to the fish market and onions. Kitna ka diya? How much? Last way, and they'll take one extra onion. That is our Indian mentality. Uh, on money, sorry, money and savings, this stingy attitude. Point number four, I, I would say Indians, especially men, uh, it is their uh, their behavior in front of their parents, in front of their office people, and especially in front of their friends, is very very different. And then if you couple that with how he behaves when he's in front of you, believe it or not, will be different from how he behaves when you're not there. And this one is very evident, especially the Asian men, I guess, like when they are with the boys like the boys, they are friends. They show a side of their personality that they would never show otherwise. Example, I'll give you a small example. In my adult group, I have some of these guys who are like, oh man, I would love to eat that. I would like to put my tongue there. Oh, she's so hot, man. I want to this, that, that, that. Very graphic language. The same guy, same guy, who talks like that, and who's fascinated about it. One of them, I know he has three daughters, three or four, I think three or four daughters, I know that, okay. And you should see outside, I've seen his Facebook and all that, a very respectable guy, he'll always be nice. And he wants, he's a good father, by the way, he's a good father, he wants the best for his daughters. But, but, when he's with the guys, I don't know what the fuck happens to him when he's with the boys. But when he is public, you know, he's a very nice guy. So that on-off switch is there where you begin to wonder, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, what the hell, man? So they tend to have this dual face. Uh, and uh, yeah, I know, you'll say, this is common with many people, many, but we are focusing on Indians, right? For Indians, I say it's a lot more. One of the reasons why it's a lot more is because they're truly worried of their image in society, which is another point I'm coming to. So that uh, India, remember, is very conservative in nature. You can't go around saying, oh, I love pussy. Maybe an American can say that, or a girl says, I love fucking. She can say that. That's why the ones who do say that, like, it's a shocker. Uh, you know, in India, it's a very conservative place to keep in mind. That's why this can be, you know, you can even, even if you crack a joke or you show a god or something, finish, oh my goodness. It's like Islamic country, they'll flip the switch. Next point, number five, I've spoken about this, but number five is the ignorance, arrogance, the ego, Indian ego and the stupidity. You don't have to go very far. Just check uh, YouTube comments. Oh, all of them are experts on every subject under the sun. They all have an opinion, but they will do it hiding behind a fake account, not their real account. And they'll always have an English name or, like you must have seen one other, they put the post. One guy has put Andrew Tate's photograph and has called himself Andrew Tate. And he wanted to tell me that he eats beef. Spelling was B-E-A-F, I eat beef, B-F. <laughs> they can't even spell, like for example, lose, L-O-S-E, lose, win or lose. And loser, L-O-S-E-R, loser. But if you ask an Indian guy to spell, he'll say L double O double, you know, L O O S E R. What a loser, man. Lose, lose. <laughs> but then, 
they think they are extremely intelligent they know everything i mean if you just see the people in my whatsapp groups oh goodness it is a uh, comedy to the point where it's painful 20 year olds 30 year olds they are experts in cryptocurrency blockchain technology artificial intelligence relationships politics i mean you begin to think man this guy must be having a phd but then if you find out what is he working as he's maybe working in a call center so the <laughs> the indian ego is very oh it's terrible and i'll tell you where the ego becomes superficial they will say sundar pichai indian uh, what Sa- satya nadella indian indra nui indian my dear they all revoke their citizenship they are citizens of another country but they will want to take credit for it so like you say mentality and this when you mix together with this ignorance arrogance and stupidity they know everything thanks to google.com point number 6 I told you right about uh, that guy's example he has four daughters but he looks at women sexually the the way indian men look at women is very very disturbing uh, you can google search this nearby rape case in fact this bilkis banu indian men the uneducated ones and all that they have this tendency where they believe to teach a woman a lesson you have to rape her this i know this might sound like a very shocking statement but if you check there are lots of people who believe that lots of men a teacher a fucking lesson rape her and then she learn how to dress up proper how to be they think it's a manly thing to do yes this culture is also prevalent in a lot of arabic and muslim cultures where you know a lot of i know i know personally know muslims who believe when you marry a girl she should be a virgin okay uh, and on the first night she should bleed only then she's pure for you in fact i i have even known prostitutes who tell me uh, they call them some bar girls they want to do it so violently that you should be injured only then they are happy so thankfully uh, not many indian men are that extreme but indian men believe women they look down on them they have a that, that is why in the indian culture it's a great pride to have a boy not to have a girl i know this is also there in other cultures but in india the pressure is terrible that is why even if a female has another girl they will kill the woman or they'll abort the child if it's a girl they want a boy they don't look at a girl is a child another human being one of the main reasons is the dowry system which is still rampant they if the boy a uh, boy and girl's family they marry the girl's family is expected to make a big payment to the boy's family to show their respect and to show their you know that yes i'm giving my daughter this is the money so men indian men and their mentality they look down on women uh n- not all thankfully there are many who are even ashamed to have daughters if you see the movie dangal or that movie what is that uh, akshay kumar raksha some uh, one new movie he came out with it seems the story line is about that where they look down on uh, women he's playing a character anyway but uh, take it from me uh, indian men do look down on women and uh, now it's not that women are saints like i said that is the previous video which i put number 7 is the indian uh, this is a separate point in itself indian men tend to have a very fragile ego very fragile and that ego is actually it stems from low self esteem that is why if you see so many indian men if they have a big position like in the office they will walk like a boss they will look down on people they will look talk down on people and uh, they are the earning capacity or the money that they have it just goes to their head and sometimes this ego is even present if they don't have anything that is why he a guy might be really great at the office but when he comes home he is like a monster you know and uh, one classic example was my stepfather 
in the office he was such a pleasing personality very polite minute he would come he was a fucking asshole man sheesh and this stems from the low self esteem that is why you see indian tourist white shirt white trouser white socks white shoes and they'll walk like this you know with their hands at the back <laughs> look so funny you know uh, it, it's like a guy with a pot belly trying to look like a small boy with a white cap that's another add on anyway point number 8 uh this is unfortunate but most of the men when they marry the woman they want the woman to make tons of sacrifice give up her career give up her education give up her dreams and in some extreme cases literally become a maid in the house maid to serve this is really bad huh? i'll tell you that um uh, that that is one of the reasons why so many families they prefer not to have a girl because no matter how much you give them education or when they get married the boy's family expects them to give up all this it's really unfortunate really really and uh, they just want them to in fact forget uh, oppressed or low families i know this guy who used to work with me in city bank is from goa he married this female and she was elder to him and they both married although many felt they should not have married but they were madly in love whatever somehow she got in touch with me after many years literally 25 years and that time they both were working and they're happy it seems that now she had four five four children four not five four children but i asked how is your career it seems that after the birth of the first second one he wanted her to stay at home and ever since that her career she was more successful than him by the way she was earning much more than him he didn't want her to work at all and today he ill treats her like shit and she's saying loy my biggest regret i was made to give up my career my education everything went for waste and today i have to take shit because i earn no money so that's another the thing they will expect the girl to be a maid who can comply with all their requests number 9 uh uh i would say one of the the ninth reason you should marry a indian man is keep in mind outside they'll show western a uh, western outlook okay don't be fooled by that because internally they have eastern values and behavior that is why you'll see guys and girls dress up modern and flashy and all that but when it comes to the same example like i gave you that guy you look at females and porn and all that but in in the house no strict you we have to be god fearing this and that so people get carried away thinking oh my boyfriend so modern without knowing that when he goes back to his cave or home he is not the guy who he showed you that he was okay point number 10 uh i think this word itself these two words speak a lot about indian men there's always double standards they it's no problem if they sexually look at other women but you should not look sexually at their mothers and sisters it's okay they will thrash other religions but you cannot thrash their religion it's okay if you talk shit about their country but don't talk shit about our country it's okay to criticize others but don't criticize me i've seen this cowardly behavior with our indians very much they can't take it they have this incredible doubles where a girl has to be a virgin guy no no problem oh he's a stud that is why if a girl has more than one boyfriend in a indian society she's a slut a boy if he has 9 or 10 girls wow the son is really dynamic that's why a guy can go to a bar but a girl can't go to a bar you know says that uh, that double standards is there they treat girls different they treat guys different and last if not the least the final one which almost all of you know why you should not marry that is the 11th one is <laughs> indian men and their hygiene i need not say more forget <laughs> forget trimming your hair forget brushing your teeth they don't even wash themselves some of them they have this stink and you don't have to if you have not experienced it go down to let's say a busy metropolitan city like mumbai try going in the train or bst bus 
uh, public transport. You will get the whiff of it. If you have a nose block, I can assure you that <laughs> nose block will be healed. In fact, when the airplane lands at the airport itself, lands and the door opens like Russell B, you will feel like uh, 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 air, you know, air filled with shit. All the smell will just, like a tsunami will just flow. You will be, you will wonder where. <laughs> Forget that. In fact, if you go to, uh, to any of the Indian airlines, Air India or something, and if in the you sit in the economy class, whoosh, ah, you, they smell like a sweaty ball sack, man. Whoosh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't know. Maybe they never notice that they are smelling so bad or they just don't want to maintain their hygiene. And that is why Thai women or even the bar girls, they'll say, I don't want an Indian man, Oof, they smell, they don't even know how to wash themselves, clean themselves, nothing, dirty, ultra, absolute, no hygiene. You ask any Filipina or uh, any, any female who has dated a typical Indian, don't take my word on it, you'll find out. See, there are a lot more other points, but the main, main thing are these 11. You can speak on how they talk loudly, how they eat with their mouth open, nyam, 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 nyam. Or uh, uh, they, I mean, when Indian tourists are, they shout and scream as if people can't hear. All this stems out from, like I told you, the Indian culture and all that, which I spoke before. Now, conclusion, the question is, should you marry or shouldn't you marry? See, it's uh, really, it's not possible to have every Indian on the planet and categorize him into a few boxes. However, the major traits are there. Now, can they evolve and change? Yes, provided they travel, provided they interact with other people, provided they expand their horizons. Like for example, me, I was born in an Indian family. I had mother, father, typical Indians. Society Indians, school Indians. That's why when people say, hey, fuck man, you sound like an Indian, like, oh, you sound like Mallu, Mallu. <laughs> because I studied in a Mallu school. I had Mallu friends, Kerlite friends. Man, come on. What do you want me to sound like? Uh, I studied uh, in the United States. You're fucking stupid, man. So, however, if you see my appearance, you see my mannerisms, you see my thought process, you see, I'm not saying I'm superior, I'm just different. Okay, it doesn't mean that being an Indian is bad. However, not evolving from the gunk or the dirt or the ignorance, then it's horrible. Like simple thing, basic hygiene, you should uh, do it, right? Or for that matter, um, double standards with men versus women. That's not correct. But like I said, these are the glaring reasons why, 11 reasons why anyone should not marry them. But if you are in love or in a relationship with an Indian man, I would say do not commit. Take a few years, get to know him, see his friends, see his family, spend time in this house, spend time everywhere. And after a period of five years or so, then you will come to know of staying with him, huh? not, not just meeting once a while, staying with him, you will come to know how this person is. Because remember, when you get married, it's a honeymoon phase. However, after the honeymoon phase is where they'll show you the I don't care attitude and they'll be themselves. And that is where you'll come to know, sheesh, this is the man I really married. Points. This bonus point I forgot to share, man. I don't know how I forgot this point. Two points, actually. So instead of 11 points, it should be 13. But anyway, the added extra bonus, I can't edit it. It was a full 30 minutes video. The point I forgot to mention is, one of the other reasons you should not marry an Indian man is, you know, when an Indian man is right, he feels good. But the minute an Indian man feels you have cornered him or you disagree with him, or, uh, you know, he feels like his intelligence is questioned. When they have to disagree, they disagree by using profanity. Dirty, absolute disgusting profanity. And usually the profanity is targeted at genitals 
of your mother, your sister, your daughter. Teri maa ki, behen ke, teri beti, this and that. They completely, they only know how to give bad words, threats and dirty language. Okay, that's a very common thing with Indian men. You can tell me if I'm right or wrong. Okay, uh, so that point I forgot to mention. The second, the other additional point I forgot to mention is, for Indian men, girls are sexual objects. That is why if you are an attractive looking woman and you are on social media, the guy, if he can chat with you or send you a message, he will say, are you single? Oh, what are you doing? And usually the dumb idiots, the uneducated ones, will say, show me bobs and vagin. B-O-B-S, that's boobs, or they call it bobs. And vagin, V-E-G-E-N-E, like vegetable, you know, because they can't, uh, you know, they don't know the spelling of vagina. So for them, show me Bob's vagine. <laughs> Our typical Indian men. So anyway, these are two highlighting features. So overall, it should be 13 reasons why uh, you should not marry an Indian man. But anyway, since I forgot, I thought I'll put this. Any other points I missed? Put them down below. Now back to the video. So that's what I wanted to say to you guys. You let me know your thoughts. Am I right? Am I wrong? But I can assure you this much. The probability that you'll get a not so good Indian <laughs> is much more higher than getting a worthwhile one. How I know this? I have so many Indians who I interact with. Take it from me. It's better to marry an Indian who is educated abroad, lives abroad, who you can be with and who stays away from his family than the one who stays with his family because at the end, old habits die hard. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share with you. Good, bad, ugly. Put your comments and thoughts down below. And let me know if what I said is right or wrong. Having said that, you guys take care. This is me signing off. Ciao.